channel so it's quite a long one so i'm gonna get straight into it uh, but first i've had a little delivery so i've got some gorgeous madame glam colors so this one is vivid purple and oh my gosh it is a wonderful color that's why i had to have it on my nails then we have sleepy eyes which is like a bluey gray spooky lovely chocolate brown i do which is like a jelly nude and cream donut which is a creamy donut color i suppose <laughs> they're the swatches uh they haven't been top coated i just wiped off the the sticky inhibition layer so i'm going in with the jelly nude let me just double check what it was actually called i'm only doing the two middle nails i'm only doing four nails on this i do two coats of that bp jn04 jelly nude gel so i've done two coats of that and i flipped them over and i'm going to use some glitter on the underside so i've chosen four different bits they are not all from the same place i'm trying to remember the two that i showed last are from amazon and the two that i showed first are from sheen so i've put a layer of base coat a really really thin layer down and just put in a mixture of those random glitters all over the nail do that to both of those nude colors and then when i'm happy i give them a cure and they're looking rather special give them all a dust off and that's what they look like on the other side thought it'd look better it did not <laughs> but it is what it is so i've got perfect white and that is going on that first nail just one coat i don't know why i did one coat to be honest i think because it is such a highly pigmented color it's it's just fantastic that color is bp21 from born pretty same as the the two jelly nudes so i've cured and i've wiped over with some alcohol on that white nail and i've just got a striping brush and i don't like the first one look my hands slipped so I wipe that off and I create some lovely thin stripes, really quite close together actually. Um, didn't want them to be spaced too far apart. And I've sped this up so much because I'm so slow when it comes to doing the stripes. I feel like I've talked non-stop for like nearly three minutes now. I hope you're all okay. And thank you very much for all of the new subscribers. It's weird how much it's gone up since i last i was gonna say since i last spoke to you but we're getting close to 500 and i want to do something special for when we reach that <laughs> so on to that fourth nail the one that's just all nude i've just taken the same striping brush and created some like little little dividers almost and this is the big apple madame glam then a yellow cab from madame glam again um, I do two little bits with that colour. Gave it a flash cure. This is Rooftop Party. Such a lovely colour. Love that. This is a mixture, actually, um, because I haven't got like a pinky red. So I mixed the Beatles gel and a bit of yellow cab. That is New York blue. And then I do two coats of all those colours. And I refill those lines to make them a bit better because there were only like rough quickly drawn lines before we need to make them stand out a little bit so I don't know if well, you, you're gonna know aren't you it's Jack and Sally and this is obviously Sally's dress so we have to add some of the little designs that she's got so we've got some stripes some swirls and some circles and then obviously she has all those little stitchy marks because it's like um What's it called? Patchwork. Patchwork dress. So I get that all done. And then we can give that a full cure. And it will cure everything in. Right, on to the hard stuff. This is a first for me. I have never, ever used this. I don't know if you saw the, uh, the, re the, the review kind of thing that I did. Um, and I really wanted to use this and I've been thinking and it was only like today as I sat down and I went to do this nail I was like I'm gonna make it 3D I just threw it on myself so Born Pretty's extension nail gel non-stick hand milky white this is UV and LED curable 
So I just grabbed a big lump, made sure it was all like nice and squidgy, made sure my hand was clean by just brushing it <laughs> with my other hand, uh, rolled it in a ball on my hand. It's the, if you've ever worked with fondant, um, it's literally the same. It's got the same sort of consistency as well. Really bizarre. Uh, yeah, just try and create a pretty perfect circle and give it a squish just to flatten it a bit. I put a little bit of base coat and cured that on that nail. And then I went in with some silicone tools and I actually found my finger to be the best tool in this situation. Um, just kind of like rounding it off a little bit at the edges. I was really happy with that. And then I wanted to do, because I was just going to cure it and then paint on the stuff. And I was like, no, let's indent it. Um, so I stuck a dotting tool in and it got stuck and I couldn't get it out and it messed it all up. And then I realised the dotting tool was dirty. <laughs> so yeah, I just used the silicone tool to flatten down what I'd messed up. And then I was like, let's treat it like it's poly gel dip the dotting tool in some alcohol or sprayable alcohol and it worked like a freaking charm. So I used the big end of the dotting tool to create some little eyeball holes and then this silicone tool to create his little nostril holes and I thought that the tiny tiny dotting tool that I've got will be better and it was, it was much better. And then I used that same dotting tool to rub in a line for his mouth as well. I did contemplate just leaving the mouth and just painting it on, uh, but I think that worked out quite well. And then it was time for Sally, literal nightmare. So it's the same kind of process, except her hair gets in the way a bit. So the side of her face is flatter and then she's got a bit more of a, like a pointy angle chin. So, Use your fingers, definitely fingers over silicone tools for that. Gloved, gloved hand is better um, because it is still gel, uncured gel. So gloved hand for that. She hasn't actually got like a little indent for a nose or if she has, I didn't put it in. And then using that silicone, no, dotting tool to create a mouth, which I instantly regret. I'm just marking off where that little weird thing is, his bow tie thing is. Um, so I know where the centre is, ready to do, to do his suit and stuff. So back to Sally, creating a sausage. And this is going to be the, if you're looking at her, her right side hair. And then grabbing that silicone tool again. This works well to get that hair in place. And then I'm just flattening it with my finger. Like I said, had no idea what I was doing, never done this before, um, but I absolutely loved playing around with this. It was so cool. And like, I just kept on thinking of all the different things that you could actually do with this. And it really helped dipping the silicone tool into the alcohol now and again um, for like smoothing it out and everything. Really, really good. So if you're looking at Sally, her hair, she has really, really long red hair, but I wanted to like create the definition between the hair at the forefront and the hair at the back. Um, and I was trying to figure out how best to do that. So I flattened all of that bit there. Um, and I used the edge of that silicone tool to kind of like create the, the rim, the edge of the hair. You'll see in a sec, if I, if I put it on camera that is. Yeah, there. So I'm pushing, I've made it all flat and then I've got that, that silicon tool and I'm kind of like rubbing to create like a separation between the hair at the back and the hair at the forefront. And I faffed and faffed and faffed. I swear I was doing this for, I think I worked on Sally for about half an hour. It took forever and I just was not happy with her. I knew in my head how I wanted to how I wanted it to look and how I wanted it to go, but making my hand do the movements um, and getting it to that final stage that's in my head, I couldn't figure out how to get there, sort of thing. Uh, but I just kept on working and working, and 
it did turn out okay. My kids absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I was really excited to show them when they got back from school. So I was like, girls, come and have a look at what I've done. Oh, I do love showing them what I've done. And they like, like oh, I hope they like seeing it too, because they've got no choice really. <laughs> uh, so another sausage for the other side. She is almost like off centre parting. Um, it's not smack bang in the middle. And on the right, like the first sausage thing that I did, it kind of swoops a little bit over a face not much just a tiny tiny little bit so for the left it's a lot thinner um but the bottom is the same principle flatten it all down and then use that silicon tool you can keep going back in to the alcohol um it just helps really smooth it out but just using that dotting tool just to like flatten down the bits that are in the background and create a definition for the hair that's like at the front of the face. I don't know how to explain, but you know when you've got all your hair down and it's not tucked behind your ears or anything. It's just you've got like the 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 edge. I don't know. I think you get. It. I think you get it. I hope you do anyway, because I'm not making any sense to myself, and I know what I did. I've put the warm pretty code. And the Madam Glam code on the screen. So for Born Pretty, you can save 10% using TLNR10. Um, and you can save 30% at Madam Glam using Little Nail Room 30 underscore one. I will put the affiliate links in the description box down below. If you click those links to if you want to go and buy something, um, then they know that you've come from me, sort of thing. Um, and you're gonna use my discount. So Sally got as much effort as she was going to get out of me today. So let's go back to little Jack. So I've refilled in the little, is it a bat? I think it's a bat, isn't it? It only had one coat and it was a really thin coat. So I gave it a second one. Marked out where his suit is and where those like little flappy, spiky bits are on his suit. Just like that. Gave that a cure. And then we can mark in his neck in perfect white and then his lovely pure crisp shirt and don't forget that little bat thing has tiny little white eyes so we need to do that and then i got to crack out the drawing gel again because it's fabulous so i just did instead of white um because i thought there was enough white on there we could add a little bit of silver then I've used the same dotting tool as I used to create the divots, the hollowness, indents, that's the word, for his eyeballs. Um, and I just dipped it in black and then I went in with the tiny brush just to make sure that I got all the way up to the edges. Wasn't too happy with his nose. I think it was a bit too, too thick like where I marked it, the black lines. Um, yeah, and the same for his mouth, just fill in that little line that we drew, that we marked off, and do the stitch marks. And he is pretty much done. He is good to go. Hello, little Jack. Back to Sally's sad face. Using that Sleepy Eyes, um, the new polish that I had, because it is like a bluey grey, and she has bluey grey skin. And it wasn't even like, it's just pure accident I am on it for that I accidentally ordered sleepy eyes so cover all of her face in sleepy eyes or a bluey gray that you have a little bit of a neck and this is the same ready orange color that i used that i made earlier it's what color is it where is the bottle a382 can't remember what it's called dropped it um and a little bit of uh yellow cap think it was pretty much like two parts red to one part orangey yellow um and just give it a, give it a mix and get that on her head yeah i pretty much had enough of sally at this point <laughs> um i knew her mouth was awful um but i didn't want to start again did not want to do that again same principle for her eyes and i just drew a tiny little line for her nose Filled in that mouth that was far too thick and deep. Uh, a little bit on her like a hairline just to define that. Some eyelashes and then we drew some more 
stitch marks and Sally's got like some crosses, X stitches. I feel like Jack does as well, but I forgot to put them on him. Uh, a scar over her eye and give that a cure. Oh no, we're doing a dress and a scar on her neck. So just fill in really rough where you want the dress to be. And then we can put in her lovely red lipstick. And that is just that pure A3 HA from Beatles for her lips. And then I'm just going to fill in all of that dress in white so it's a, a nice background uh, ready for the colours for a dress. So we've got New York Blue, Rooftop Party, um, Yellow Cab and then that uh, mixture that we mixed, the red and the orange. And now we can go and mark all of those lines where uh, all the patchwork is. And I just really roughly, like I said, I'd had enough at this point. She was having some weird designs on a dress and she was going out. She was done. I'm sorry, Sally, but you broke me. Don't forget those little stitch marks to make it patchwork. And yeah, they're, they're pretty much all done now. Just got to give them a top coat. I didn't know whether to mat them. Um, I have done some other Jack and Sally, but they're just for like reels, shorts and stuff. Um, and they're, they're not 3D or anything. But I matte top coated them and I was contemplating doing that to this. But it felt like it was like ceramic-y, you know, like clay, clay little things. <gasps> I don't know, but they are done. I'll keep this short and sweet. I hope you like this video. Please do let me know what you think in the comments down below. Everything I've used, including all discount codes and affiliate links, will be in the description box as well. I really hope you enjoyed this, guys. I have been tested for sure. That's one way of putting it, I suppose. <laughs> Thanks so, so much for watching. And thank you to all of my subscribers. We're nearly at 500. Let's do it. And then along comes a surprise. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you on Sunday. Bye.